Hello, first grade readers, and welcome to Miss Sunshine's first edition of Bulldog Books. Decided to change things up, decided to fix my background a little bit. Just felt like we needed something fresh and new this week. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with is our nonsense words. So you remember that I have my timer. So if you need to go find your score from last time you did this so that you can see if you're getting more nonsense words in one minute, or maybe you're getting a few less and you need to practice a little bit, you can always pause this video at any time. All right, are you ready? Oh, readers, get set and go. And stop right there, readers. Now's the part where you would pause the video and count how many of these nonsense words you were able to read in one minute. And then you're going to compare your two scores and whichever number is greater than that's the best score you've gotten so far okay let's move on to our book super silly today super silly stuff the title of this book is called breaking cat news cats reporting on the news that matters to cats some of you may have a pet cat in your house and I wonder if they would be interested in the news stories that the cats in this book are reporting. So you are going to read each page to me and Miss Sunshine's gonna ask you questions about things like what happened in what order or the characters in this book or the setting. Now the fact that we're reading a book about cats reporting news do you think this book is fiction or nonfiction? This is definitely a fictitious book. I have not seen a news broadcast involving cats. I mean, that's not to say that it couldn't happen, but it's never happened in, in you know, in that I've seen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we have a list of characters here on our news team. <laughs> so we have Lupin is our white cat. He is the lead anchor. Now a lead anchor would be like the lead reporter. Then we have Puck. Now Puck is a field reporter, which means he goes out to different places to get news stories. And finally we have Elvis, and he is also a field reporter. Now we're not going to take the time to read this introduction, but I was excited to see this as part of this book because this is another feature that you'll find in a lot of books where we've studied things like the table of contents, we've talked about what a glossary is, we've talked about indexes, we know what a cover page and a dedication page is. An introduction is written by authors or sometimes it's written by people who have read the book and want to share information. The introduction is basically just a way for us to get a really good idea about what the book is going to be about. It might talk a little bit about why the author wrote the book. And let's see if our book is gonna work for us today. Okay, let's start with this first speech bubble. Ready, begin. All 
All right, there we go. And now over here to this speech bubble with Puck. And now over here. And here we have our last one with Lupin. All right, let's read this speech bubble right here. And now this one. <laughs> All right, so we have our reporter, our lead anchor, telling us that word on the street is the door to the spare room with the awesome sunspot on the floor was accidentally left open. Then Elvis is telling us that there is a field reporter on the scene. And here's the illustration. So tell me what the setting is where Puck is. Is he in the spare room with the awesome sunspot? <laughs> yes. All right, let's take a look at our lead anchor. And I wonder if my first grade friends know this word, Siamese. I wonder if any of you have ever seen a Siamese cat. They have kind of an off-white body. Usually a Siamese cat has blue eyes and a darker face. So let's see what Elvis says about the incident involving the Siamese cat. Uh-oh, do you think maybe Elvis could be the Siamese cat? I think he is the Siamese cat. He says, it says here that that report is unconfirmed and you should stop bringing it up. And then they go back to Puck. And once again, what's the setting where Puck is? The spare room with the awesome spot of sun. Okay, let's read this one. And here we have Elvis. Now Elvis says, this thing is terrible and I hate it. Is Elvis sharing a fact or an opinion? That's right, he's sharing his opinion. He does not like the plant that the people bought. Now let's take a look at this speech bubble. And now this one. <laughs> Can you tell me what happened in this picture? <laughs> So if I were making a prediction about what's going on with Elvis, it appears he's eaten the leaves off the plant that the people bought, and then he's thrown them up. So there you have it. Now this last speech bubble. There's a really great vocabulary word in this speech bubble immediately. Does anyone want to take a guess based on what, how the word immediately is used in the sentence? It says followed immediately by what's outside this box. Immediately means right away. And now let's read this speech bubble.
And we're back here with Elvis. Read this one. Now, looking at the picture with Elvis the reporter, what is the setting where the bee is found? Did you say the bathroom? That's correct. Okay, let's take a look at this speech bubble. And now this one. Here we are with our lead anchor. And finally back with Elvis. And here we have this speech bubble. And there's Puck, read his speech bubble. I'm wondering if my first grade friends know this word. It has a little apostrophe in the middle of it. The way we read this word is ma'am. So Puck's speech bubble CN Cat News, ma'am, is that bacon? And then it looks like Elvis has the same question. Is that bacon? And now let's read the speech bubble for this new character. What does she say? And now Puck's speech bubble. Do we know the name of this new woman character? We don't know, they just say the woman is how they call her. Let's take a look at this speech bubble down here. Now, looking at the illustration, and I wanna remind you, how do we read this word again? In Elvis's speech bubble, ma'am. <laughs> And then Lupin's down here, and he's using the same word, ma'am. Does she look happy or sad about the fact that all three of these cats are really into the bacon? Yeah, she looks a little bit upset. Let's read this page. Great vocabulary word in Lupin's speech bubble, mysterious. Mysterious is a descriptive word. So down here, Elvis says, not much Lupin, only that it is probably dangerous and definitely going to kill everyone. Do you think if you were going to predict about what the red dot is, that it's dangerous and going to kill everyone? Let's look at our illustrations. Here we have Elvis. And now he's joined by Puck. And our lead anchor, Lupin says, we'll continue to follow this story as it develops. All right, friends, we will stop right there and continue our Breaking Cat News book in our next edition of Bulldog Bucks. Have a great rest of your day.